All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. Hopefully, everyone's having a very good Memorial Day weekend. Because <clears throat> I certainly am. In fact, I kind of want to get back to playing my video games. And had some good uh, barbecue with the family yesterday to celebrate the holiday. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> yeah, now with that being said, uh, we're only going to do one video today. I want to make it a quick one. Because again, I want to get back to my gaming and try to relax too. I actually also exercised just before this as well. So, uh, I don't even know where to begin. Uh, so first off, the markets are doing pretty well. All right, so they picked a pretty good time to uh, launch. All right, uh, we gotta do all this. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the uh, bond markets are open. I mean, problem is like basically America is like just taking some time off, right? So that's just how it goes. Can you see this? Yeah. So. <clears throat> ah. Oh, yeah, I'm actually going to change the Cash App thing, because nobody actually uses that. Because I actually realize people have to give me money, and they get nothing in return. No one's ever going to do that. So I'm going to switch back to, like, maybe my Amazon affiliate link, and then see if uh, how that works. Uh, <clears throat> all right, so anyway, uh, cryptocurrency seem actually doing really well, too. All right, and it's a Monday. So Earnville picked a pretty good time to launch, all right? And they're also doing a stealth launch. All right, so... Uh, yeah, I mean, pretty much, uh, I hope you've been buying the dip like everyone's been saying, right? I know I have, and I'm doing pretty well. Now, Earnville basically copied, uh, LockPay, and I know that's also down quite a bit, but I did say in my LockPay video that there should be a correction because it's just going to keep going up. Now, obviously, some people still didn't watch the whole video, as always, and then they were just bitching and complaining in the comments. I mean, I deleted the comment, but, like, I'm going to make this a little louder. Uh, gain. I'm going to set this to, like, let's try 3.5. I'm hoping there's not going to be, yeah, see, I'm seeing the thing that has red. Because if a sudden noise comes on, I don't want you guys and gals to have ear damage. All right, blah, 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 okay. Yeah, I'm still getting red. Uh, mm, I don't want to lower it any lower. All right. We'll try 1.9. All right, hopefully that'll make it even louder. Because I actually was listening to my own video, and even it sounded a little low. So... All right, we'll see uh, how uh, this little gain works, all right, because you might start hearing static. But anyway, so anyway, the, the guy that made the comment said it's down bad, it's terrible advice. It's like, okay, I can tell that this person doesn't know how to invest. Oh, can't see the chart. They don't know how to invest. First of all, you're not supposed to put all your money in the same, in one project. And then two, I said in the video, it's going to pull back pretty harshly because it's been way above the original launch price. It's like... I don't like fielding stupid comments like that, and, I'm sh and I think he unsubscribed too, so like, what a stupid effing a-hole. So, yeah, he deserves to lose his money. So, it's the same thing here, right? I bought Earnville a short, like, basically when a stealth launched, a uh, public stealth launch, I guess. Uh, what was it? I, what did I pay for it? I think I paid like a dollar or a dollar twenty. I don't remember. I know I bought, bought it down here, so, or was it down here? I mean, it's been already a couple hours already. And already it's correcting, which is actually a good thing, because apparently the launch price was around 11 cents. So, you know, the sooner we have this little correction, the better, because that's why LockPay is going to, you know, been crashing uh, a bit too. I actually bought more LockPay as well. All right, so Earnville is basically LockPay with a couple extra bells and whistles. I mean, I guess I'll have to... Uh, uh, I'm not going to log into the dummy MetaMask. We don't need to, which I just need the link for the YouTube description. Okay, so technically there's no buy link in the front page, I think. Yeah, because when I mouse over swap, it doesn't work. So, uh, whatchamacallit, let me think. Oh man, I have like so many things full in my head right now, right? Because I also want to trade the spiders tomorrow on Yahoo, so... Yeah, I'm actually pretty, actually, I guess for a holiday, I'm actually pretty distracted. Yeah, so anyway, uh, this is pretty much like LockPay, and Earnville has been, like, wanting to launch for, like, many months, 
right? And they finally launched like a couple hours ago. So that's why there's a lot of hype. I think their Discord has around 9,000 people. Uh, in fact, now that I'm doing the video, I can leave their Discord. Okay, so let's see. First off, what is the daily APR? Let me make this a little bigger. Okay, so they're 2% a day. Good. So what I like to do is every daily, every 24 hours, I take 50% uh, off. So in this case, whatever my lock pay is, or in this case, Earnville, uh, I'm going to take, you know, 1% of my tokens, right, and just sell that, right, and just take profit. And then the other 1% obviously will keep compounding. So, you know, I've been making money off of lock pay. Obviously, if I sell my lock pay now, I'm going to lose, you know, a lot. But, you know, I know it's going to be around for a while. So, but like... You know, prices just go up and down, right? That's why you don't put all your money in one project, and then like you know, when you have the correction, like LockPay's having now, and maybe this one's having a little bit of a dip. I mean, you don't complain. It's like, oh, okay, well, that's just how it goes. It's like, oh, well, it's terrible advice because uh, everything goes down. Then why are you in crypto, you effing idiot? All right, everything goes down. All right, look, all this went down. Now you're gonna say crypto is shit? It's like. You know, I really just don't want stupid people, like, taking my advice because, obviously, you're just going to lose all your money and then you're going to blame me. So, it's like, you know, you have to pull profits, right? Because I can tell when somebody does not pull profits, all right? In this case, this idiot did not pull profits. He just thought it would just go straight up and never go down. It's like, like, it, it's like the same thing with the real estate uh, markets. Like, back in 2000, that culminated in the crash of 2008, everyone literally thought houses would just go up in price forever. It's like, people are just so dumb. It's like, things go up and they go down, all right? The more it goes up, the harder it's going to crash. That's just how it goes, all right? Because it has to crash to fair value. Ah, uh, crap. Maybe I shouldn't have left the uh, Discord because I was hoping that they would have the... Okay. All right, so they didn't actually update their home page. Great. Great. Okay. Well, maybe their documentation has it. Uh, they couldn't have bothered with updating this, it looks like. Because it doesn't mention the, you know, buy lottery. Okay. Oh, man. Now I have to waste my time and go back to their Discord. Okay, which surprisingly... Telegram, Discord, here we go. Discord, copy link. All right, I gotta go back to their Discord. Oh, of course the invite's invalid, Jesus. Why is everything like so disorganized? Uh, okay, let me go to Twitter, which has their Discord link, which says accept. All right, just bear with me a second because I actually thought that everything was on the front page and you know how I like to do wrong with this thing. Okay. Oh my god, what is... F oh god. Alright. Uh, announcements. Alright, Discord is now lagging. This is great. Okay. I have to read this off of Discord. Alright. Are you excited for tomorrow's stealth launch? I have a surprise for you. Our protocol has a lot of incentives for you to use our miner. Okay, extra reward for being a real holder. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, here it is. The hold dole jackpot. After 30 days, 10% of the entire treasury will be airdropped to those who bought within the first week of the protocol launching and did not sell a single cent up to that point. Oh, so that means I would have to actually hold all my... Yeah, well, the thing is, there, there's... Technically, the stealth launch isn't supposed to be overly public, so I can't post a screenshot of this, even though I would like to. Okay, so if you're not willing to sell any of your tokens for the first week or whatever, right? After 30 days, you'll have 10% of the entire treasury of Earnville airdrop to you. As long as you don't... As long as you buy in the first week and you do not sell up to that point. I don't know how they're going to calculate that, but I guess they could. 
so there is that. And then there's also the hold all jackpot event in the second month for those who bought within the first month and did not sell anything for 30 days. Yeah, that's not going to be me. <laughs> that's not going to be me. All right, I'm going to stick to my, you know, withdraw money every 50 uh, whatever. Also, I just realized I have to compound in eight minutes. So I got to uh, hurry up this video. Okay, what about those who hold for 60 days? Uh, that is a surprise. Yeah, I already know. Okay, so I'm definitely not going to do this because I. this is exactly what we tried doing in Metaverse Pro. It just doesn't work. Okay, it just doesn't work. Especially once people start panic selling, that's it. You know, you're not going to hold it. All right, I also swore that there was supposed to be something like if uh, you buy, actually, you know what? I probably was confusing it and then just didn't, I just misread it. But basically, there's a whole little jackpot. What I'll do is I'll actually make sure I write this in the YouTube description. All right, because right now I'm just reading off of my Chrome, so you can't see it, and I don't want to show my personal info. All right, so that's pretty much what LockPay, or LockPay, Earnville is. Now, I'm trying to see if there is a way. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's like a thing. Circular economy. Okay. Yeah, they did have a last buy jackpot. I was like trying to look for that because they're not updating anything on their website, which is actually very frustrating because a normie that just comes here is just going to think, oh, there's just another, you know, lock pay copycat. That thing's down. I'm just going to pass. And that's actually not the case. Like they need to update this website and they need to update the uh, documentation because all that important information is not here at all which is very annoying and it's actually detrimental to the project you know so um oh yeah that's the thing am i going to add this to the playlist i mean i might have to remove lock pay even though i actually like the project a lot so i'll think about it i'll think about it and uh if i keep lock pay on the playlist i'll obviously be keeping this on the playlist as well or I might just put Urnville on the playlist and then remove lock thing. I, I mean, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Okay, last buy jackpot. Okay, uh, lottery. 2.5% of every buy and 5% of every sell will be converted into Binance dollars and sent to the jackpot contract. If there are no buys worth at least 0 0.1 Binance coin in, for 10 minutes, the last buyer gets 50% of the jackpot directly transferred to his BUSD wallet. Uh, okay, I forgot what project, um, I mean, it's just like, it's a little bit like Milko Shiba, but there was a different project that did, the, that did this exact same thing. I think it was actually Tasha's Wild Magic. So it has, so it has really good holding, it's got good, uh, last buy jackpot, so there's a lot of constant buying pressure, um, so that's very good. Okay. Uh... All right, lock pay mechanism. Okay, so they actually have all the important information on their Discord, which of course was not updated anywhere else. Okay, so their lock pay mechanism is the anti dump. So you can only sell one to three percent a day of your total tokens, and the sell limit is determined by the team. Uh, okay, da -da 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 -da. good. Now they have something called bake fill. A utility cannot be defined as such if it doesn't sell a product. Our miner does that and more. It's unlike anything you see. The main product is every miner is a referral exploit in the code, which allows. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so they talk about some kind of miner, but they didn't have any details. Uh, when you're compounding in the Urnville miner, you're not putting any more money into the contract balance, but if there are still cash out your deposit. Okay, so they're just. Solving for that problem. It uses EV tokens, which are auto compounding. Yeah, it sounds like I would not want to touch the EV token because it looks like they're using something completely different. Uh, time that big fill support fund implement uh, Nina Rise Miner zero tax twelve percent daily. Yeah, it's a twelve percent daily. Yeah, that's not gonna last. But it's a separate token from lock pay from. From the Urnville token, it sounds like, so we don't have to worry too much about it. Okay, yeah, it's basically just a feeder support site. That's what it is. So it's uh, it's it sets up a miner Ponzi, right? It makes some money, hopefully, and then you, they use uh, profits from that to pump up Urnville, which is fine because all we care about is Urnville. All right, 
So, all right. So I have to figure out how I'm going to sort all this information, you know. But that, that'll be my job. All right. So I just had to read off of the Discord. I'll again, I'll put everything in the YouTube. I mean, I kind of wish it was on the front page; so you could see it with your own eyes, but that's okay. All right. So anyway, uh, let me think. Do we want to put this on the playlist? Market cap. You know, I think for now I will. I'll remove. Lockpay and Earnville from the. I'm not gonna add. Uh, I'm gonna remove Lockpay from the playlist. Even though I actually like both of these projects. I mean, I want. I'll. I think what I'll do is maybe I'll re-add it later. I just want to see what the price action does. Specifically, Lockpay's price action as cryptocurrencies go up. I want to see if it can recover. And then Earnville, of course, just launched, so I have to compensate for that. So I kind of want to just see, you know, because again. If everything is going down, then the project you're invested in also goes down, then that's not a big deal because just everyone's down. It's like it's winter, right? So yeah, right? It's just like I it's just like the example I gave MDV, right? If all the trees in your neighborhood have no leaves, then it's probably cold and it's also cold, then you, it's probably because it's winter. So that's not a problem. Right now it's spring going into summer, and all the trees are fully bloomed and have leaves. So all the trees around me have leaves, but if one tree does not have any of those, then you know that there's a problem with the tree. That's exactly the same thing with crypto. So right now, crypto and the stock markets, I mean, they're still closed because of the holidays, right? But if everything's going up, stocks are going up, crypto's going up, right? Because now we're getting, because now the surge we had here in America, the stocks is now for pummeling, funneling money into crypto, then that actually directly impacts crypto and the project you're invested in. That's why occasionally I get some idiots that complain like, well, why are you not on the same topic? Because these things ultimately determine how much money your shitcoin project's going to make, right? If everything is down here in the front page, which we all just went through, yeah, you can bet all the coins that you're investing in are going down too, all right? That's why it matters, all right? Again, I don't like stupid people. Right, it's, it's it's like you know, and then I just delete the comments. It's actually a hassle to block people, so I just delete the comment. So you would have to be very annoying with re repeated stupid comments for me to just block you forever from commenting on the YouTube, because that lowers the IQ of everybody else uh, watching the video, and then the, when you have lower IQ, you lose money. So anyway, uh, yeah. So I'm going to have to see what happens, right, if crypto keeps going up and Earnville and Lockpay keep going down or they don't recover, then that's a problem. Then we probably know it's not going to work. But with that being said, I'm checking Lockpay right now. Uh, it's up like 10% in the last 24 hours. In the past hour, I mean, it still has a lot of dumping pressure, all right? So, you know, the volatility is still there. But again, Lockpay had went straight up from like a very low amount. So again, the correction is going to have to be pretty nuts. So yeah, so yeah, I think that'll be a good idea. I'll remove. I won't add this to the playlist not yet because it's too volatile. And then lock pay, I'll have to remove it and then I'll add it back later once it stabilizes. But I really do like Earnville and lock pay. I really like the concept, right? Especially with the constant buying pressure and the forced one to three percent or one to five percent. You know. Uh, Dumping of tokens, all right. That actually is pretty important. Uh, Titano forks, and in fact, Titano itself hasn't even gone up in the past 24 hours. It's actually been flat, all right. So yeah, I mean, it's really not that big. It's, so far, it's not looking that bad, all right. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. I gotta start compounding my earnings. In fact, it's already been eight minutes. Yeah, it's been more than eight minutes. So anyway. Uh, only video for today. Uh, like, subscribe, share this video around. Uh, thank you again to all the old and new people watching this video and this channel. Welcome, welcome. And uh, yeah, just try uh, you know spreading uh, the word around, right? Because you know the more we grow, the more money we make, and of course you know uh, we could get the word out against like actual outright scam projects. Because it turns out those Paramount stakers have come up with like a scam miner and they've been like spamming my YouTube video and then they specifically targeted the BUSD crops yield farmer and said it's a crops killer it's like it's so evil and toxic I really hate those people right and it occurred to me that even though 
his Paramount staker has no more money in it, so he's gone full rug. He still gets these weird comments, so it occurred to me that he's using uh, bots and paid commenters and all that spam. So, that's just how it goes. But uh, The good news is, you know, eventually everyone's just going to be like, you know, F these guys, they're scammers, and then, you know, they'll just go away. Because, like, remember when Aurora Finance launched? Right, they had literally all of those spammers like going crazy everywhere. Right now, I don't, I don't hear from them anymore. Right, because again, shitcoin projects always go, you know, the way of the dodo. Right, extinct. All right, rambled on long enough. Tomorrow uh, we'll have some more videos if there's any projects to cover. But again, we just had a big three-day weekend. Everyone's just like in la la land, you know. And I thought I wouldn't mind just not doing any work, but you know, yeah. Anyway, we'll definitely touch base. Uh, I feel I'm, I'm in a little bit in a rush because, believe it or not, I realize I actually have a lot to do. So, yeah. Check out Urnville. Uh, I bought a small bag. I forgot to mention that at the beginning because, again, i got to go through all this stuff real quick. And, um, yeah, I will be adding this and LockPay to the playlist after their volatility uh, is done. All right? So, let me see. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, it's already uh, it's already having its dip. So yeah, go figure. All right, uh, see you all hopefully tomorrow. If not, definitely sometime later this week. But most likely tomorrow. I'm sure there's got to be something we can cover.